cried. Um, dream. I love singing the national anthem. To be honest, it's such a such a great moment for the game. It really pumps you up. It's like a it's like a warm up almost. It, it gets you ready for the game, and they want to prove that they they aren't just someone to be walked over. They're a big country in terms of spirit and passion and desire. So. I think they, they want to be heard and yeah, I think that's why it's such a loud, passionate anthem. I think they just want everyone to hear them. It's something that I uh, was dreaming of to do in a World Cup and now that's obviously happening. They always come back if I leng it, I'm busy torn that if a boyfriend belling. Long court on me, that's awesome venging. This pack's from Cali like Sue Wu banging. Baby girl thinks she's a penis, I don't know about her but I know that a friend is. My mum's mum and dad are uh, both from a place called Breda, which is like mid midish kind of Wales. And yeah, they're just really uh, proud Welsh people. I think that's definitely part of my uh, personality. Is what I think that's why I'm so like passionate about what I love and playing football. And that's why I try and do the best I can. I think is from their side of the family. I think they're all such nice people. But um, yeah, they're just really happy that I'm playing for Wales now and being able to make them proud of something that I'm really happy about. They always wanted me to represent Wales. Obviously their last name is Price. So they wanted Price Johnson on the back. <laughs> but I didn't know if that was possible. But um, yeah, they always wanted me to represent that side of the, of the family and playing for Wales. And yeah, as soon as I got the chance to, seeing how proud it made them, definitely made me want to play for Wales. And that's the only team I could see myself playing for. All the fans are so friendly and it's almost like one community to be honest. Um, there is a real good connection between the, the fans and the players, I think. It almost feels like everyone's on the same page and the spirit of the boys to work harder for the fans and just to give them more and more experiences where they can um, be happy about it. It's something, that, it's something that's really good. Even with the team, when I go away with the team, everyone's so close, I've never really experienced anything like that. Coming into a team of players who don't play with each other week in week out, and everyone gets on, everyone could talk to anyone, and I think that's why they get they do so well in tournaments. It's not really just luck or getting a good draw. I think genuinely the spirit of the team <laughs> keeps them going through tournaments. I think that's why they've done well recently. I watched a lot of my uh, my whole family as well, so my my grandparents as well, and. Especially the England game, they were devastated when England won at the end. But um, watching the things like the, the game versus Belgium when they won and just seeing how proud all the fans were and especially how well they did that tournament really um, affected me. They have like regional scouts at Wales. They have a lot obviously in Cardiff, a lot in Swansea, but they do have uh, one started around in England because there's a lot of players who are eligible to play for Wales and they um, spoke to me when I was probably 16 or 17 and I remember one time was right near my exams so I would have paid for them before but I didn't because I just had to go and do my exams and things like that and then once that was done I knew I wanted to at least try it out and then as soon as I went there I, I loved it straight away. It wasn't too much the football, it was more just the way that the boys were, everyone was so welcoming, it was like I'd been there for years. Um, which is something that is hard to come by, especially in football when there's a lot of new lads or people who have been together for a while. For me to go and be a new person there and everyone to treat me so well, and it really stuck with me. And the football is good as well. I enjoy playing with them. There's a lot of good players who are in the first team now with me at Wales. So um, yeah, just seeing seeing the pathway and how everyone is together definitely made my own decision. Yeah, they were they were delighted. Um, I remember going straight away to be with the senior team. So seeing how many of them come to the games, like all my mum's family, then cousins as well, they all would come down because it wouldn't be too far for them to come. So yeah, just having all that support and um, everything kind of just came together. So much at play on a unique day in Cardiff. One nation craves a place at its first World Cup since 1958. I remember getting to the game and then uh, being in the change room, a lot of lads were speaking and it's kind of now and ever for a lot of the boys to be honest because a few of them are getting a bit older and um, they might not get this opportunity again so I think 
just going out there and giving everything for the boys who might not be able to get that opportunity again. And yeah, we just wanted to keep this group going a lot longer. So it's such a big game. He was just saying how much it meant for him. Personally, I think um, he obviously didn't mention about anything about retiring or things like that, but he just kind of said the importance of what it would mean for the country and how much it would mean for each other and how hard we got to work for each other to get to this to this World Cup because it would be such an amazing experience to go and I think that kind of pushed the boys on to give actual opportunity. He is within seconds of creating history. This place will erupt in elation. And the final whistle! Wales have done it! They've reached the World Cup! Their drought is at an end! But on wait, it's finally over! As soon as that whistle went, it was more of a just fall to my feet, um, relief and um, yeah, once I saw the boys come on the bench sprinting on and it kind of hit me how much it meant and all the fans were, were ecstatic so yeah, to celebrate with them was really good. I remember celebrating with um, Nico and some of the younger lads that um, I'd been through the youth set with as well which was really nice because we'd all played our part and I knew how much it meant for them guys as well and especially all of us being in the seniors together and having the opportunity to go to a World Cup, which we all are now, and yeah, it's a really good feeling. Gareth actually has a bar in, in Cardiff, so we went there with all the families, and well, first of all, we went back to the hotel with the families, and then went to his bar, which is in Cardiff. I then um, stayed there for a bit, and then most of the lads went out after that as well, so <laughs> it was another late one. But um, yeah, celebrating moments like that, at the time, you know, it's, um, it's a once in a lifetime experience and something that you really won't forget. So yeah, celebrating that was, was amazing. The second place we went to was more like a club, and there was other people there, maybe a few fans, and uh, some of the lads were getting like, like half crowd surfing around the around the club, <laughs> which was which was so funny at the time, and it was just something that, yeah, I, I haven't forgotten, and yeah, I don't think I'll ever forget. Obviously, we want to make everyone proud, the, the the fans and the supporters, but I think we want to real give it a real go. To be honest. Um, we're looking to put some really good performances to get the results and to get out of the group. But then from there, I think just putting ourselves up against such great teams and seeing what we can do. If you could say one thing directly to Wales fans, what do you think you'd say? Um, I'd probably just say how excited I am and hopefully they are for the, for the World Cup. And I can't wait to see them all singing the national anthem and just making themselves heard in Qatar, to be honest. Because I know they're going to be such great support for us. and. Yeah, I just want them to enjoy the time there and hopefully we can bring them loads of joy.